All right, it is time for Ronnie's Roundup. Today, he's profiling a photojournalist who brings images to life in black and white. And while Ronnie is joining us on the air, he is also enjoying the holiday at his cousin Paralee's house on the city's west side. Ronnie, how's it going out there? What's on the grill? I tell you what, Cousin Paralee is sitting right over there, and we're having a good time as well. Of course, enjoying America and the holiday, July the 4th. But as my man Jeff was just talking about, it's a young man who... I saw shooting some video and I saw him shooting some still pictures and I said, who are you? And I found out not only is he someone special, but he's one of the best in the world. It gives me chills because uh, I know what it meant. I knew what photography meant at that, that, that time period. A time when images were frozen in black and white. Moments like this captured through the lens of Terrell Grogan's camera constantly display his works of art as a photo journalist. Whether it's sports, whether it's politics, whatever it is, I'm looking for the empathy and the human story. It's, it's, These it's, eyes see what others miss and what Terrell envisions as his gift to define an alternative description. For example, this shot of Clarissa Shields, powerful punch on Hannah Gabriel's in 2018 at the Masonic Temple, is iconic. It won four prestigious worldwide photography awards, including the Guardian, top 50th moments in sports history. Whether it's a solo individual sport or if it's a team sport, you know that that person put the work in and you're capturing a moment like it's not, that moment is not gonna come again. When Ali knocked down Sonny List, it's not gonna happen again. So you have to be ready to take the photo and be prepared for that moment. And for more than 30 years, the 40 year old Groggins has stayed ready, such as his personal favorite of his cousin on a hot summer day in the D, or times when tension and uncertainty separated a nation in transition. Still, the picture he wished he could take never happened. And it reminds him that that opportunity missed is bittersweet. Just family, my, my brother, my grandmother, my brother was murdered in Detroit. So a perfect moment would be him being there, having a drink with my brother or just cracking jokes, capturing him and his essence, the empathy that I have, because those are, family is the most important thing. Those are moments you don't get back. So I wish I had an archive of my brother when I took photography um, seriously. I wish I had that archive. So in my head, when I roll back, I think of all the great holiday moments, the 4th of July, Christmas, um, and I don't have that from my um, creative mindset. I don't have those moments. So that moment would be great. That is a great moment from a great photographer. You've heard of Gordon Parks, a good friend of mine, colleague, went to college together, Dudley Brooks, who was a fine photographer with the Ebony Magazine. But this young man, trust me, he's someone to be reckoned with. I may have done the first story on him. I'm sure I will not be the last.